Why is Japan investing $10 billion in a futuristic experiment at the foot of Mount Fuji? When you hear Toyota, you probably think of cars, reliable, dependable vehicles. But what if we told you that Toyota is building an entire city, a city unlike anything you've ever seen? As cities grow larger and populations surge, communities around the world are struggling to cope with a host of challenges. Urban areas are grappling with traffic congestion, pollution and overwhelmed infrastructure. Governments are also facing issues with sustainability as energy demands soar and carbon emissions rise, contributing to climate change. Quality of life efficient public services and environmental impact are becoming increasingly difficult to manage in traditional setups. To address these problems, governments have turned to the idea of smart cities. These cities are designed to integrate technology into every aspect of urban life. By using sensors, data and the Internet of Things, smart cities promise to streamline services reduce energy consumption and make urban living more efficient and sustainable. Imagine a place where AI controls traffic flow, smart grids optimize energy use and connected homes enhance residents' well-being. This vision is why we have seen a rise in smart city projects across the globe. Projects like Mazda City in the UAE and Songdo in South Korea were built with lofty goals of carbon neutrality and improved quality of life. However, both of these cities have struggled with execution, high costs, lack of organic growth and failure to attract residents have left them far from the thriving hubs they aim to be. So what makes Woven City different? Is it a blueprint for the cities of tomorrow or just another sci-fi dream doomed to disappoint. Woven City aims to avoid the pitfalls of its predecessors by taking a different approach. Instead of trying to build a complete city from scratch overnight, it is starting small, with just 360 initial residents and will grow gradually to about 2,000. Built on the former site of Toyota's Higashi Fuji plant, Woven City is a living laboratory nestled at the foot of Mount Fiji. This location was chosen not only for its practical availability, but also for its symbolic value. By building near Mount Fuji, Toyota emphasizes a connection between technology, nature and traditional Japanese values. The proximity to Mount Fuji allows Woven City to integrate natural beauty and tranquility promoting a balanced environment for innovation and sustainable living, an ideal setting for testing the concept of harmonious, future-focused urban life. Covering 175 acres of land with a total investment estimated at $10 billion, Woven City is designed to be a place where technology, sustainability and human life are closely interwoven. Imagine a community powered by solar energy and hydrogen fuel cells, where smart homes monitor health and well-being and autonomous vehicles handle both transportation and deliveries. Streets will be organized into three types, one for fast-moving autonomous vehicles, one for pedestrians and personal mobility, and a green promenade for walkers only. Buildings will be made from wood, using a mix of traditional Japanese techniques and robotic production methods, blending the old with the new. Under the city, a network of underground tunnels will handle utilities and deliveries, keeping the above-ground areas peaceful and uncluttered. The city began construction in 2021, and by early 2025, the first phase should be completed, with an initial population of about 360 residents. This gradual expansion and phased approach allowed Woven City to test innovations like autonomous vehicles, AI, robotics and smart home systems in a real-world setting. What is the ultimate goal? By having a manageable initial population, it becomes easier to monitor and analyze the effectiveness of these technologies and urban planning concepts. Flexibility is key. 
Toyota can adapt and modify plans based on learnings and outcomes from the initial phases, gathering valuable data and insights that could influence future expansion or replication of the concept. This experimental approach could help Woven City succeed where other smart cities have struggled by focusing on building a community first and letting technology support it rather than trying to impose a futuristic vision without considering the human element. Take Saudi Arabia. The line, for example, is a $500 billion mega project that has been heavily criticized for being far away from reality. Initially promised a 170-kilometer-long linear urban environment designed to house 9 million people, has scaled back to just 2.4 kilometers with 300,000 residents. The ambitious vision of a city without streets or cars has faced skepticism due to its sheer scale and high costs, with many critics viewing it as a futuristic dream rather than a practical urban solution. Songdo in South Korea, one of the earliest attempts at a smart city, spans 1,500 acres and was originally intended to house 300,000 people. Currently, it has a population of about 160,000, far short of its original goal. Despite its advanced technology and smart infrastructure, Songdo has been criticized for being sterile and lacking the organic vibrancy that makes cities truly livable. The high cost and overly planned nature of the city have left it feeling more like a well-designed experiment than a thriving community. Similarly, Mazda City in the UAE set out to be the world's first zero-carbon city, covering six square kilometers, aiming to accommodate 50,000 residents. Today, it houses only around 15,000 people, a fraction of what was intended. High development costs, delays and difficulties in attracting businesses and residents have hindered its growth. These examples highlight the common pitfalls of smart city projects – overambition, high costs and a failure to account for the human element of urban life. The line's scaled-back vision, Songdo's struggle to reach its intended population, and Mazda City's incomplete status all underscore the difficulty of transforming ambitious ideas into functional, vibrant communities. Woven City's smaller, phased approach and focus on community could be the key to avoiding these issues and achieving what other smart cities could not. By focusing on building a community first and letting technology support it, Woven City aims to avoid the mistakes of trying to impose a futuristic vision without considering the needs and desires of its residents. But, like other ambitious smart city projects, Woven City has not been without its critics. One of the primary concerns is the involvement of a private company, Toyota, in designing and managing a city. Some critics draw parallels to projects like Google's Sidewalk Labs, which faced backlash for giving a private entity significant control over urban life. There's a fear that Woven City might prioritize corporate interests over community welfare. There are also concerns about exclusivity and affordability. With cutting-edge technology integrated into every aspect of city life, some fear that Woven City could become prohibitively expensive, accessible only to a select few, and inadvertently contribute to social inequality rather than bridging it. The high level of connectivity and data collection planned for Woven City raises privacy and data security issues. With sensors embedded throughout the city, there is a risk that residents' personal data could be misused or compromised. Critics have questioned whether enough safeguards are in place to protect individual privacy in such a highly connected environment. Will residents feel comfortable living under constant surveillance? Would you? Finally, some have criticized the project as being artificial and detached from reality. Building a city from scratch often means it lacks the organic, cultural and historical elements that make traditional cities vibrant and livable. There is skepticism about whether Woven City can develop a genuine sense of community or whether it will feel too manufactured, similar to the criticisms faced by Songdo 
and Mazda City. As of October 2024, construction of Woven City, according to Toyota, is well underway, with progress visible across various phases of development. The first phase is set to complete by the end of the year, and it consists of over 12 structures covering 50,000 square meters, making way for initial residents to move in by late 2025. Key advancements include significant work on the underground infrastructure that will house utilities such as power storage and water filtration systems, as well as an autonomous delivery network. The Woven Test Course, which is a dedicated track within Woven City, designed specifically to test and develop autonomous vehicle technologies and other forms of future mobility solutions, is set to be finished by the end of 2024. The city's living laboratory concept is taking shape, with residential buildings designed to support smart home technologies and in-home robotics currently being outfitted. Toyota's You by Toyota team has been focusing on refining digital twin technology which will create a virtual replica of the city to monitor its systems in real time. A hydrogen refueling station is expected to be operational before the city begins initial demonstrations in 2025. Woven City embodies the future of urban living, combining autonomous vehicles, renewable energy and AI to create a sustainable, connected community. But questions remain. Can it attract people to live there? Will it live up to the promises of smart living or face the same challenges as Mazda or Songdo? What do you think? Will Woven City become a model for the future or just another high-tech promise? Thank you for watching and please let us know in the comments if you think that Toyota can pull this Woven City off. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more mega build stories. See you soon.